And I'm joined by Dr. Dorian, and uh, in honor of Larry King, I lowered your chair just a little bit because all his guests had a lower seat just so he could have the advantage. My apologies. Yeah, thank you very much, Billy. <laughs> uh, on a serious note and about Larry, we talk about pre-existing conditions. He had them all. He had lung cancer, bladder cancer, prostate, uh, carotid artery, he, you name it. And then he got COVID. And then after COVID, sepsis. How does COVID affect his ability in the immune system to fight sepsis or anything else? Yeah, unfortunately, COVID has turned to be the last straw on the camel's back. So people who have multiple medical problems, when they acquire COVID, it taxes your immune system so greatly that you don't have the ability to fight off things you used to be able to fight off. All right, which leads us to the vaccine right now. To be clear for people, what does the vaccine do? Does it strengthen your ability to fight disease or does it keep COVID away so you can't even get it? No, 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 you can get COVID after getting vaccinated. But let's just make this very simple. Yeah. You get the vaccine, your body now has a sense of what COVID is. So when and if you get infected, it's prepared. That's it, bottom line. If your body is prepared, it will fight off the infection. Okay, the new CDC director says we don't have enough vaccine doses. Uh, and production won't scale up until March. Yeah, and, and what's even more concerning for me is the statement, I don't even know how many we have. That makes me extremely nervous. If the head of the CDC doesn't know our inventory of vaccines, how are we making claims of 100 million in 100 days? Look, it's pretty straightforward business. If I'm trying to sell chocolate chip cookies, I better know how many cookies I have to be able to sell a certain amount. So. I think we need to communicate better. We should know how many we have and that'll build confidence in the people and everybody can track and stop panicking. I'm not gonna get mine. Is double masking more effective than single masking? I don't think we need to double mask. Mask, distance, sanitize, you're fine. Advantage double masking provides is when you continuously touch your mask, you would be touching the mask on the outer side and you would throw that away and still have a somewhat clean mask. You don't need to. I walk around the hospital every day, I guess with one mask. Yeah. That's it. I don't need any more than that. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.